<laughs> Just checking it's recording. <laughs> Hello, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, then I'm Mac. I'm Sarah. Uh, and if you're not, then welcome back. Um, but tonight we have something really unusual in store. We are champing. Yes, we are staying. That's not a made up word. We are staying in this 800 year old church tonight. Isn't it beautiful? Um, but is it going to be cool? Or is it going to be creepy? Let's find out. We are doing something really different tonight. We are champing. And if you haven't heard of champing before, it's basically like glamping, but in a church. Take a close look, that's where we're gonna be spending our last night. <laughs> <laughs> this is St. James's Church in Cooling. This is gonna be our home for the night. It dates back from the 13th century, although the uh, tower dates back from the 14th century. It was declared redundant in 1976 and vested into the Church's Conservation Trust in 1978. And we're gonna sleep here tonight. So let's go and check it out. So the keys for the church are stored in here, and we've got a code for this. Don't read it aloud. Top secret code. <laughs> uh, I'll insert something that says three hours later. There we go. There we go. And this is our little toilet for the night. Oh, it actually smells quite nice. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. That's okay. And then in here are the keys. Check that key out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a church key. So I don't think you've ever been to a church before, have you Dozer? Dozer, have you been to church before? I don't think so. So let's head in and check out our home for the night. This is our home for the night. <laughs> How cool. What about it, Dozer? What do you think? Do you like it? Let's go check this out, shall we? There's very old stuff on the floor. Chairs. Oh, oh, it's like a regular B and B look. It is like a B and B. How cool is this? First aid kit, fire blanket, fire smoke alarm, smoke alarm kettle, tea, hot coffee, chocolate. hot chocolates, and mugs. Oh, look! A washing up bowl. That's brilliant. A lamp. So you can't have naked flames in a church because obviously all of this ancient flammable stuff so these are battery powered candles Let's see if it there you go awesome that'll sort us out tonight won't it that'll make it feel spooky <laughs> oh my god i'm so terrified <laughs> look here are our separate beds for tonight <laughs> oh i've got nice carrot beds where are you going to sleep joseph bear how are you going to sleep? Lots more candles. Mm -hmm. Some fairy lights. I guess maybe battery operated. Yeah, battery operated fairy lights. So obviously we'll... Um, these will look better tonight, won't they? Dozers off. Where are you going? There's a good boy. Apparently this door is 800 years old. Wow. 
It doesn't go anywhere. Either. No. He's blocked up, is it, the other side? Mm -hmm. Well, that's an old door. Look at the wood. Wow. So it should mention that there is no running No running water. water and no heating. No heating and limited electricity. So yeah. I think there's one power uh, point looks here. Looks like that plug down there, just one. Um, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Come and have a look at this. This tiny little vestry is all decorated with hundreds of shells. Cool. That's something, isn't it? I hope this is where all the spiders hang out and they just stay in here. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. It feels really old, doesn't it? Mm. Very cool. So we checked into our champ and um, now we're just giving the little furry boy a walk. Um, yeah, there's a public footpath right by the church, so we're just having a bit of a stroll. No idea where we are. <laughs> when we first looked into champing, I thought it would be the coolest thing ever. Now we're actually here, I'm thinking possibly the creepiest thing ever. What are your first thoughts? Uh, my first thoughts are the church is really lovely. Um, <laughs> And it feels sort of, it feels really nice. Yeah, it does. Um, it? It, you know, and I think at night, with the fairy lights on and the, the battery powered candles and what have you, I think it would be really, like, really cute and cozy. Um, I think it's quite a big space inside, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, it's a big space, it's really echoey. Yeah. There's evidence maybe of bat poo. <laughs> yeah, I think there might be bats in there. Oh, bats in the belfry. But it'll be fun, it'll be an experience. Um, we'll either sleep like babies or not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with not at all. Yeah. Um, uh, but we'll see, it looks like fun. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like fun. One of the cool facts about um, St. James's Church in Cooling is that Charles Dickens used to come here. Um, it's the inspiration for the opening scene of Great Expectations. Um, and he grew up in Higham, yep. which is nearby and um, he used to come with his family to have picnics in the churchyard. Um, so it's quite cool actually to think that we might be walking somewhere that Charles Dickens walked after, after filling his belly with picnic. <laughs> Apparently he used to lay it out on one of the tombstones. Yeah, that's a bit creepy. I don't think we'll be doing that for dinner because... No. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that's a bit weird, yeah. But quite cool though to know that Charles Dickens uh, hung out around here when he was uh, alive. <laughs> We just, oh, I always do the finger point. Don't do the, Don't pointy. Do the finger point. We just stopped off at um, a pub in Cooling Village for a pint, an impromptu pint. Which yeah. It's very nice. A pub called the Coach and Horses, I think. Yeah, and yeah. actually, um, if you champ in certain places, or most of them, I think, if you pre book and pay, you can actually have breakfast um, for £12.50, which is really good value. And if we had chosen to have breakfast included with our stay, it would have been there. And it mm. looked really nice. It was really nice, nice actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of a nice traditional English pub actually so yeah. I think that would have been a good a good shout a good choice we're gonna have our own breakfast yes uh, so we're just walking back to the church now and um, walking through the village and all of the houses are called uh, names sorry just pulling over to the side of the road because there's a car coming um, all of the houses near in this village are named after Dickens things Dickensy things Dickens things Dickensian things. Dickensian things. <laughs> Dickensian. Dickensian. <laughs> oh God, I've had a pint. What the hell is going to happen to me tonight? I'm going to die. As I was saying, some of the houses in the village are named after characters or places in um, some of Dickens' novels, which yeah, is really fun. Yeah, a nice fun. touch, isn't it's it? It's nice that they kind of embrace the history. Yeah, of the places, I think it's it? very cool. Yeah, so we're just strolling back to our church now. Going to unpack the car, unload everything. Get set up. Do a sweep for spiders. <laughs> get set up for the night. <laughs> Spider sweep is very important. <laughs> very important. Okay, so we've got, we've got our stuff in. Um, you might have noticed that it's not, you know, equipped with the kitchen and the bathroom, what have you. So, um, Sarah's gonna go and uh, test out the facilities. I'm gonna go and try the toilet, which is a dry, a dry toilet. A dry toilet. I don't really, don't know how it works. So you're gonna have to follow the instructions. I'll report back. I won't take the camera because that would be weird. How did it 
go? It was okay. Okay, cool. It was fine. Um, I found some lights in the main area. Oh, that's better. Yeah. It won't be too bad, will it? No, it won't be. The toilet was fine. It actually smelt really pleasant and it was not that complicated to use. Not good. So okay. it was fine. That's cool. The only thing is there's no running water to wash your hands, but they did have um, hand sanitizer um, in there to use, which was fine. So all good. So we can never travel light. Um, so come and see our setup. Um, you can't see our cases and duvet and, and all that sort of stuff. We've hidden that in the pews. But we've got our um, camping um, cool box and I've plugged it into the one plug. Um, so that will help keep our wine and cheese cool. Um, uh, should, probably should be wine and fish, I suppose. But, hey -ho. Um, we've got our, our food there as well. Dozer's just had his dinner and um, he's got his bed set up there. So, um, so yeah, I think we're all kind of straight, aren't we? Um, so we probably want to unpack some bits get all of our nice things set up. Yeah, we bought lots of good food um, we did. and some wine. Yep. Um, and maybe we bought some card games, some yeah. books and we stuff We downloaded like that. a movie. Yeah, so we should be well set. We I should be. Do you think we should lock the door though? I think let's go and do that now, shall we? Yes. Let's okay. Do that. Let's do it. Dozer is a very good boy. He is generally really chilled out and relaxed about most things. But he does not know what is going on. <laughs> he does not know what is going on. I think it's the echo, actually. <laughs> That's quite some door. I was no, like, no, here. Dad, let me back out. You're a good boy, Dozer Bear. just how big this spider is that I've just found. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to be the last spider we're going to find in here either. So we found, we, we got a, a, a roommate for the night, um, but we don't fancy his company. So um, I've humanely caught him and I'm going to take him outside. Come on, little fella. He's gone going to keep our spider catching tools. <laughs> well, such a lovely evening out here that we thought we'd come and have um, a glass of wine. In the graveyard? In the graveyard, <laughs> why not? Um, the Champing website, when, when you book, they actually send you a really funny email, don't they? Um, yeah. With loads of information, and it does actually say that drinking is allowed. Um, they say wine. Yeah, they <laughs> so say specifically wine. wine, so we bought wine. <laughs> And of course, you have to be respectful of where you are and of the neighbours, of course, as well, because yeah. their house is quite close by. In his church. A night in a church. A night in a church. And we have some snacks too. We're going to die. No, we're not. Just want to show you how lovely the light is right now. Isn't it gorgeous? That evening light is actually coming in the window inside the church as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, it's dinner time in the church, um, but we've got a good spread, haven't we? We've got some yes. cheese. Yeah, we've got cheese, bread, olives, smoked salmon. Um, obviously, there's no cooking facilities here. There is a pub down mm. the road, so we could have gone and had dinner at the pub, but we thought That's it might true, be yeah. quite nice to have a bit of a picnic. It feels really weird. It feels, like, <laughs> it feels like we're not meant to be uh, be here. We should be whispering. And does it sound echoey? Because yeah, it does I bet to it sounds us. Echoey. Yeah. yeah, we actually downloaded a movie to watch as well on our phone, so I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Um, we downloaded Up because um, we thought it might be quite cheery. <laughs> Well, I'm saving these pages for all the adventures I'm going to have. Should we go and investigate? No. We just heard someone trying to get in the door. Someone just tried the door handle. <laughs> I think we just ignore it. Maybe because the lights are on. pitch black out there. <laughs> I 
scared. Yeah. <laughs> I got my head torch. You stay there, shut the door. Okay. Lock it. Mac has gone out to the car to blow up the airbed that we brought with us. So I'm in the church on my own with Dozer, and it's a little bit creepy. Oh, I think he's here. Hang on. Hello? Hello, mate. It's only me. You made it. I survived. <laughs> Thank God. I'll tell you what, it's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> it's spooky out there. <laughs> oh good, I can't wait to go to the toilet later. Good boy for barking though, Dozer Bear. Why didn't you bark when those people tried to get in earlier? They supply you hot water bottles, but um, we brought our own. But I actually don't know if we're going to need them, to be honest. It's it feels okay in here at It's the not moment. that cold, is it? No. Was it scary outside? Yeah, it was a little bit scary. When I put my head torch on, it kind of just illuminated the mist, so it felt really spooky. Was it like something out of a horror movie? Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, good. And every time the head torch shone on the gravestone, I was like, oh! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> so, champing. champing. <laughs> Creepy or cool? cool? Oh, it is still cool. It is still cool. Apart from when the person, somebody tried the door from the outside. That's creepy. Oh, those has got in his tent. Yeah, so... He likes he it. He does like it, yeah. So we, I don't know if we mentioned <laughs> earlier, but we, hang on, let me come around to give you a good view. Um, we've got this little tent that we sometimes use to give him a bit of shade if it's like a hot day, um, if he's in the Not garden. Not really spoiled or anything. Not that he's spoiled. So we just thought we'd bring it, you can't really see him because he's really dark, but he's there. Let me, let me, let me turn my head off. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's much better. Now it, there he is. now it's just creepy. Um, <laughs> so we thought we'd set this up for him, so it'd feel yeah. like a nice, safe space. He obviously like does it, like it because he? he's got straight in it. Yeah. So this champ um, sleeps six people. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. Oh, so they sometimes put six beds out then. Yes. Oh, right. There is a bat flying around in here somewhere, and I don't know if we're going to catch him on camera. He probably might have flown out, you know. No, there he is. See it over there? Oh. I don't know if that if the camera picked it up. Oh, yep, yeah, he just flew past. So, uh, oh yeah, can you see him? So we have uh, our own pet bat for the night. That's pretty cool. It's not. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool. I'm pretty sure you can't see anything because it is pitch black. I've got my head torch on. Can you see me now? <laughs> um, we're taking Dozer out for a wee. Um, but it is very, very dark out here. It's just a little bit spooky walking around a graveyard in the middle of the night in the dark. So we're ready for bed. Um, we've got our little camp beds um, set up and pushed together with our inflatable mattress and a duvet on top. Um, we're just debating uh, whether or not to leave the lights on because it is a little bit spooky. It's a bit dark. I'll put um, in a clip of what it looks like with the lights off. I forgot to oh tell yeah. you. Did we mention the bat? Yeah, there's a bat. <laughs> yeah. And also, we watched a YouTube video of someone else staying overnight in this church. And, oh, God, um... yeah. <laughs> a guy called Kent Survival uh, YouTube channel. And um, he uh, rather cleverly has some um, nighttime motion sensitive cameras. And. Um, he uh, caught some uh, like light orbs. orbs floating across and, and some vibration. Uh, so that was fun. I'm anyway, sure it's not really haunted. So we're off to bed. We'll now. let you know in the morning. Yeah, sweet dreams. Okay, night. Bye. Bye. Good, oh, morning. good morning. <laughs> we made it through the night. We did. Yeah. What a bonus. <laughs> Actually, we've already been up and outside the church um, about six o'clock, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Just as um, the sun was coming up, it was absolutely beautiful. The birds were singing. Actually, it was the birds that woke us up. It was, yeah. yeah. Woke up by the, by the dawn chorus. That's not, not too bad. Out. And a cockerel. Oh, yeah. I heard him, yeah. yeah. And the, the sun is now shining through this beautiful stained glass window behind us. Um, what a gorgeous place to wake up. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we're joined on the bed by this one. Um, we've got a little bit of breakfast to tuck into in a minute, but we're just going to enjoy a few more minutes in bed um, because it's actually now quite cosy. It is quite cosy, actually. How did you sleep? Terribly. <laughs> but no, we slept fine. Yeah, um, no ghosts. No, our resident bat didn't hang around. 
Um, he, he obviously went out with his mates for the, for the night, so that's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to have some breakfast in a minute, nice cup of tea, followed by some porridge and croissants. How about that? Sounds good. Sounds good? Okay. which is um, an experience in a church. Um, kind of feels a little bit odd getting undressed in a church, doesn't it? It feels wrong. <laughs> it feels, definitely feels wrong. We've just tidied everything away, um, started packing up our bits and pieces, and now Mac is making us some breakfast. I'm really hungry. It's, it's nine o'clock, I don't know where the morning's gone. This is what camping's about, isn't it? No, this is what <laughs> champing's about. This is what champing's about. <laughs> so we're gonna have our porridge, have a cup of tea, some croissants. We're going to watch our faves, um, Cheers Ears. They've got their weekly vlog out. <clears throat> we absolutely love Cheers Ears. It's our Sunday morning tradition. So even though we're champing, we brought Cheers Ears along with us. Welcome to another episode of Church Facts with Sarah. These church pews date back from 1400s and apparently they are some of the oldest surviving church pews in Kent. This church actually has two celebrity connections, so not just uh, Dickens made this church famous, but also Jules Holland got married here in 2005. This is from the 14th century, it's blocked up on the other side. This is the royal coat of arms to Queen Anne. The frame is from the 18th century, but the painting is modern after the original one was stolen in 1993. This east window um, has late Victorian stained glass by the famous firm of Clayton and Bell, and obviously I'm getting all of this from Wikipedia. <laughs> so apparently I do church facts now. All right, so we've cleared out and we're almost ready to go. So we're going to lock up again with this wonderful key. <laughs> I love this key. It's quite a big, heavy door. And it makes some good sounds. Look at that for a door. I think we should get a lock and key like that in our house. I think so too. Well, if you live in a church, you could. <laughs> we lock that up as well. Scramble the lock, and we're good to go. St James's Church in Cooling was the um, inspiration for the opening passages of uh, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And these are mentioned in that passage, tragically sad, um, 13 very small graves, which are the graves of um, 13 um, unfortunate babies. And after the uh, character, Pip, in Great Expectations, these then became known as Pip's graves. How sad. So you might be wondering what champing is. Yes, we probably should have put this bit at the beginning of the video. Maybe. Because um, you might have just thought we turned up to a church and randomly stayed there. And randomly stayed there without permission. We did not. We did not. <laughs> we went to champing.co.uk um, and found uh, there's a selection of churches that you can stay in um, all over the country. Yes, all over the country, as far as Orkney um, in Scotland, which I think would be amazing. That would be beautiful. Um, in all sorts of fantastic locations, some remote, some really rural, and they all have something uniquely special about them yeah um, we paid uh, just over 55 pounds each mm -hmm. um, for the night so about 110 pounds it's dog friendly you can bring up to two dogs or they say three if they're very small <laughs> um, Dozer was very good uh, he settled very nicely yeah, um, you get basic um, provisions you know some tea coffee you have to bring your own milk um, there's a kettle and there's some cutlery uh, and they provide camp beds um, so you just need to bring your own bedding or sleeping bag or mm -hmm. what have you um, so it's a great way of supporting uh, these 
historic buildings and helping to preserve them for the future. Yeah. Um, it's a good source of revenue. It's run by the Church's Preservation Trust. Um, so as we say, check out uh, champing.co.uk and you can find out all about it. Yep, and the only other thing to mention is there is a champing season because I probably wouldn't recommend staying in an old building with no heating in the winter. No. So you might find it's, I think it maybe runs April to October. Something like that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, so. but we were perfectly warm. Yes, it was absolutely fine. It actually. was lovely. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Joseph, what's your verdict of champing? I loved it. Do you like it? Loved it. <laughs> so that's it for our champing vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's given you some inspiration to go and check out something cool and unusual um, that you could maybe do, um, if not even a champing stay itself. We'd love to hear about it as well. If you've got an idea of something really unusual uh, to try for an overnight stay, leave a comment below. Um, we've got a few ideas actually, so stay tuned. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so we can uh, show you what other adventures we get up to. Yeah. Um, but meanwhile, final verdict. Creepy or cool? Hmm. I'm going to go with cool but with a dash of creepy <laughs> yes on account of the bat and the person trying to break in in the middle of the night yeah no i, I think i'd definitely go for cool absolutely loved it thank you for watching and we'll see you next see time see you in the next one bye, bye.